Okay guys, so I'm finally back outside for another workout. As I told you guys yesterday, because I skipped yesterday's workout like an idiot. But you know what, I was, so much crap happened yesterday, like I'm, I'm not gonna get into it. But I'm gonna get back on track. I'm not gonna ramble on too much, I'm just gonna get straight into the workout, so let's get it. You guys like this song? It's pretty calm, ain't it? The song is from Drake. It's called From Time as I put on the screen. You know, this reminds me of when I'll bring a, a sexy lady over to my home. I welcome her and I say, go get comfortable. Go lay on my bed in my room with the rose petals spread all over the bed. With the candles lit all over, the aroma is just getting our, our senses going. I tell her I'm going to go take a shower just to freshen up a little bit, you know, just to make the experience a lot more enjoyable. She tells me that, ooh, Simon, I've been so tired lately. Can you do something about it? I say, don't worry. I read up on Google that you might be lacking some vitamin D. So you know what I did. I whipped it out real fast. So I'm doing body weight pull-ups right now because that's already intense enough for me to be failing between 8 to 12 reps. So if I put on any more weight, I'm going to fail like a lot earlier. And I don't want to start dropping below 5. So by the time I hit my 5th set, I would like to fail at about 6 reps. Right? I don't want to hit my 4th set and be failing at 4 reps. That's pointless to me. That's like a waste of a workout. So that's why I'm hitting it without any extra weight. Okay, so enough playing. I hope you guys enjoyed my little skit. I left you guys off with a little cliffhanger because I know you guys are wondering, Yo, so Simon, like, I don't care about your workout anymore. What happened to you and that girl? Like, you whipped it out. Then what happened? Like, tell us the story. Just relax, guys. The story will continue another day. But anyway, let's actually get into the workout. Let's get into what's been happening with Strength Over Size. I'm so pissed because... Ever since I started bodybuilding with calisthenics, I've been losing strength. And I think it's mostly due to the fact that I haven't been eating as much as I've told you guys earlier in the video. And of course, as I'm trying to get bigger, I need, I need more food. So if I'm not even getting enough food, like I lost my one arm pull up, I can still pistol squat. I lost, I can't even do muscle ups that well anymore. Like I'm so freaking pissed because again, like, there's no way I ever want to sacrifice my strength for some size. If I'm going to be 170 but be weaker, that's not even worth it. If you guys haven't realized either, I love doing YouTube. I love this. Like, if I could somehow turn this into my career, of course, along with, you know, selling clothing, you know, online coaching one day, blah, 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 all the things that come with YouTube sponsorships, Man, I swear, like, I would be so happy if I could just do this and put out the best content. Because, guys, that Vegan Gains video that I worked so hard on, it has already passed 10,000 views. That's not even the only thing. On Friday, when I upload that video, that day, my channel hit 6.6 thousand views just for that day alone. And the day I upload the, the trailer for that video, my channel made seven bucks. Now I know it's not a lot, but to me it's just like, that's growth. Like I love seeing the growth. To me it's not about the money, it's not about what I can get from you guys or anything. To me it's just like, it just inspired me to want to keep making great videos. And it's not like people actually hated it. That video got over 400 likes. Man, I just feel so happy with how the channel's been going. Not to mention Bodybuilding with Calisthenics has already been so successful so far. This month has basically been one of the best months for Strength Over Size ever since I started. Things like this is what really gets me going, especially the thing that matters to me the most is your guys' responses. Like I was reading your guys' comments at work, and you know, even the guy told me like, hey man, like you gotta get off YouTube before you get caught because you never know who's watching. People may snitch on you to the manager. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. But I was just like, yo, I wanted to see what you guys were going to say because that's why I made the trailer. When I make a trailer, just know that I put a lot of faith into that video, okay? So basically, 
I was waiting to see what your guys' responses were going to be. When I uploaded the video, the video was only getting like 100 views. So I was kind of feeling a little bit down. I went home, the video had like 5,000 views. Or not 5,000, around 3,000. I was like, what the fuzz? Are you serious? That was a record for me because I've never uploaded a video and got past 2,000 views in 24 hours. I think my most popular videos was from my my powerlifting with calisthenics series. Those were my most popular videos. But then when it came to this video, oh man. And then bodybuilding with calisthenics, oh man. So I'm so happy guys. Not to mention, I didn't even let you guys know that we passed 6,000 subscribers uh, on July 4th. Today is July 19th, 15 days later, and we're already past 6.5 thousand subscribers. We're gonna hit 7,000 pretty fast. Remember I told you guys my goal. I said my goal is to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year. To hit 1 million views by the end of this year, and I think that we can do it. I think we're gonna blow up. I told you guys last year that big things are gonna happen. We already made it through half of the year. And of course, the biggest thing happening this year is the birth of my son, which I can't wait to share with you guys. But anyway, I just wanna thank you guys so much for the support. I just, ah, this gives me so much hope. And you know so funny too? This month, this month, which is when I started bodybuilding calisthenics, a few of you guys, I thought it was only gonna be one, but a few of you guys kept telling me, hey Simon, I feel like your channel is going to blow up soon. I feel like your channel is going to be up there with CG, with uh, Chris Jones, POG, with the big YouTubers. And to me, at first when I got it from one person, I'm like, oh, thank you, man. Like, I put my work into this and everything. But then more people start saying it. And I'm like, yo, why Why is everybody just saying this to me now? Like, did I do something different? Because you guys remember when I was kind of, I was pretty depressed back then. And I told you guys that, you know, I was pretty down on how my quality of, the vid of my videos were. And I told you guys that I really just wanted to start putting out great content. And I feel like this month is where everything changed. Even though work started, you know, I'm going to continue trying to put out the best quality videos ever. Because you guys are letting me know. You guys are giving me that feedback. Just letting me know that things are going well. So I just want to let you know, man. Like, I'm trying my best. I'm working long ass hours at work. 10 hours. I'm not really getting paid yet until I get some clients. But of course, we were doing training. So I'm getting paid for training anyway. But anyway, I'm just trying to let you guys know that I'm working hard. I have long hours. So I can't promise bodybuilding calisthenics Monday, Wednesday, Friday. But I'll try my best to get three episodes out every week. And then three other videos out. Where it's me talking about a topic you guys want me to speak on. And blah, blah, blah. So again, guys. I freaking thank y'all. SOS is gonna be blowing up real soon. Just have your faith in me. I thank all of you guys who've been loyal to me, loyal to, loyal to the channel. And you guys, the thing about us is that it's like you guys just watch me because you really want to see me grow. Because of course, I'm not the I'm not the best person to get you know the best advice from. But I know you guys love my story. I know you guys like my struggle, and I inspire you guys in that way. I'm young like you, like you guys. So I just thank you guys for watching. And yo, I'll talk to y'all next time, man. Done.